this demonstration we're going to look at configuring Windows Storage Server as an iSCSI target for a later demo where we create a Hyper-V cluster. So what we're going to do here is we've just come into Server Manager, just on my dashboard here, I'm just going to come down to my File and Storage Services, then what I'm going to do is select my Storage Server and select iSCSI. Now that we're in here, if we scroll this up a little bit, what we've got is we've got three targets that were created in the previous demo. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create some new targets that we can use for our cluster. So we'll click on our task button. We're going to create a new iSCSI virtual disk. I'm going to create it on LON SS1. I'm going to create it on the E drive. Then I'll select my next button. I'm going to call this disk 11. And then what we'll do is we'll just select next. Then what we're going to do here is we're going to make this 15 gigabytes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make it dynamically expanding for my lab environment and select next. In the case of my iSCSI target, I'm going to create a new iSCSI target. Select next again and I'm just going to call this lab 6 hyphen host 1. Now I've done that, select my next button. Now I need to add the access servers, so I'll just select add here and I'm going to add in my two servers. So what I'm going to add in here is I'm just going to browse through and what we're going to do is we're just going to add in lon hyphen host 1 we'll add this in here so that the server can access this target I'm going to do exactly the same thing with host 2 so we'll just select add and all we're going to do here browse through again and we're just going to add in host 2 I'll we'll select OK there and select OK again and what we'll get is we'll get the two servers sitting in the list, which we do. Then we'll select our next button. Just have a look at the authentication. We're not going to bother with chat authentication. Select our next button. Have a look at the confirmation here. Just make sure everything's correct in the summary. Then click create and we'll leave this running. So what I'll do at this point here, I'll just pause the video because this will take a couple of minutes and return back once this is complete. So it's now complete, so we'll just click the close button. And what we now have is we now have our new lab 6 hyphen host 1. We can also do this as well through PowerShell. So what we'll do at this point here is I'll just launch a PowerShell. And within PowerShell, what we'll do here is we'll just create some more disks. So what we've typed in here is we've typed in new hyphen iSCSI virtual disk, hyphen path, C colon, iSCSI virtual disks, backslash disk 12.vhdx. I'm going to make this 15 gigabytes and I'm going to do this on lon hyphen ss1. Once we've done this, the next thing to do is actually then add this to a target. So what we'll do at this point here, we'll just hit the enter key. And as we can see, it's now create the disk. So the next thing to do is just add this to the target. So what we're going to do with that virtual disk is we're going to add that as a target mapping to our lab 6 hyphen host 1 target. I'm going to specify the path for the virtual disk as well as disk 12 and on computer lon hyphen ss1. And so the next thing to do is just verify that it's all gone through, so we'll just come back to Server Manager. We'll just click our Refresh button and we'll just verify that the target does pop up. So as we can see here, we've now got Disk 12. Right, now we've done that, we now need to connect this target to our Hyper-V host. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to come to my local server. On my local server, just click on my tools here. Just come to my iSCSI Initiator. It's just telling me this iSCSI Initiator service isn't running, so we'll just say yes to that. Just start that up. Next thing to do now is just connect through. So all we're going to do here is type in the target name of lon-ss1. Then we'll click quick connect. And what we can see is we can now see the target. So I'm going to connect through to the lab 6 hyphen host one target. So we'll select our connect button. Click our done button. And there you go, we've now connected through. Now we've done that, we'll just click OK and then we'll just come into Computer Management. Then we'll have a look at Disk Management. And on Disk Management, what we should see is we should see the two disks that we created and we've connected through to. So these are our remote storage. And that's the end of this very quick demonstration. Thanks very much.